Welcome back, everyone. It's Monday. Dr. Paul is here. Woo! What nice shirt. Thank you. Gonna have to go. Is that it's a gift? holiday. It's a gift or just a holiday shirt? It's a holiday shirt. Oh, okay. And a All gift. Right. That's, that's very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, uh, boy, we've got a great topic today. Uh, as you know, every week we try to talk about something to do with health and nutrition and uh, all of a sudden, Paul and I got involved in this conversation of mind over matter and come to find out, yet yeah, it's another subject that Dr. Paul knows something about. You're a walking encyclopedia of this stuff. You know that, right? I try. You try. No, but it's, it's so a great topic. the topic is meditation. Uh, great topic. So why this? Why, why meditation? You know, Jesse, I think this was so timely. And it's great how this is kind of so organic the way that this happens between us. But think about this time of the year. I mm -hmm. mean, what's on everybody's mind? I mean, mm -hmm. gifts and mm -hmm. holiday parties and, you know, work. And, I mean, it's a stressful time. Yes, it sure but is. But this topic of meditation is ubiquitous because we need to pay attention to it all the time. Mm -hmm. um, because there's very well-known scientific evidence that when individuals practice meditation, they are more present. They are more mm -hmm. kind of... Um, aware of their surroundings mm -hmm. than people who don't. And not only that, but there's great evidence to show that meditation helps us deal with disease, mm. particularly stress-related yes, diseases. Right, sure. So, Well, as, as we both know, a lot of disease is related to stress. It sure I mean, is. you could just start with heart and, and move from there, right? That's right. That's but right. Uh, just the, the chemical imbalance is the way I've, I've often heard it, is, mm -hmm. you know, stress introduces that kind of chemical imbalance that a lot of times just nutrition alone can't offset. That's right. That's, that's great. And so meditation serves that gap. Right. Know, meditation is kind of the glue mm -hmm. that binds together all the healthy lifestyle things that we do, mm -hmm. like exercise and eating well. Mm -hmm. So nutrition, uh, meditation is necessary for that. So what is meditation? Meditation is just about um, altering your mind state into mm -hmm. a more relaxed state of being. It's about mm -hmm. being mindful and present with where you are, mm -hmm. meaning not necessarily physically, but where you are in your head. That's meditation. Wow. Yeah, it's a little bit heavy, but it's easy to practice, and there's um, ways that we can hopefully get into here today that can help people get started with it. Right, now meditation, uh, you know, you say it, uh, an altered state of mind or something yeah. like that. You know, I mean, we, we know each other well enough now. I'm thinking, well, three or four shots of Jack Daniels <laughs> yeah. sounds like good meditation to me. For but some people, yeah. For some people, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> So what we want to be, though, is we want to be present. Yes. So, you know, drugs is a way to induce mm. an altered state of, of being in mindfulness. But with, with meditation, it actually is connecting you closer to where you, f you actually are in your mind. So mm -hmm. it's about bringing that awareness. Mm -hmm. So um, one particular type of meditation is called um, mindfulness awareness meditation. Oh, uh, M-A-M. You mentioned M -A -M. that before. Yes, right. so mindfulness awareness meditation. So let me, let me just start with this, that when, we, when people meditate, they are more present with what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And we know that we kind of live in extremes of being really present with some things mm -hmm. and really absent with other things. Mm -hmm. And most of us reside in our daily life around 50%, meaning that about 50% of the time, we're actually experiencing what we're thinking. Mm -hmm. That's a weird yeah, thought, I right? Get that. Sure. And so in, in the 50% of the time that we are actually experiencing what we're actually doing, 50, about 80% of those thoughts mm -hmm. and being present are very stressful. Mm -hmm. I mean, just imagine what we're putting ourselves through. So when we are stressed, as you mentioned, we have the release of all these really toxic, harmful yes. chemicals, hormones mm -hmm. in our body. Cortisol is one of the most um, detrimental. Mm -hmm. And so when we meditate, we have evidence that you bring down not just your harmful hormones that are mm -hmm. released into your body, but also your breathing rate, your heartbeat. Mm -hmm. is lowered. So those are all really favorable outcomes of, of meditating. Mm -hmm. So the easiest one is that mindfulness awareness meditation and it's something as simple as what you and I are doing right now. It's sitting mm -hmm. in a chair that's relatively comfortable. Your back is Get not spine, supported. Yep, right? Getting the spine straight mm -hmm. but you don't want to be leaning back against the chair. You actually want to be kind of forward on a chair and your hands are just placed nice and softly on your mm -hmm. thighs and then it's about having a nice quiet comfortable gaze about four feet in front of you and then just paying attention to your thoughts mm -hmm. and being aware of them and being non-judgmental mm -hmm. and non-critical of mm -hmm. your thoughts. And that's really important. Just allowing these things to come in and allowing you to pay attention to your breath. So mindfulness awareness meditation is probably the easiest one. And then there's also guided meditation. Mm -hmm. So you can actually listen to tapes or you can have a, rever uh, a rehearsed guided meditation that brings you to a you know, beautiful 
serene environment. You know, many times people are in a grassy field with a beautiful blue sky or on an ocean. Other ones <clears throat> that people often practice would be a mantra, mm -hmm. just having a repeatable Mm -hmm. Mantra, Phrase, peace. Right, sure. So, you know, peace is a common one. Yes. We all know of the Om, yes, Om, right, right? But people think, you know, people have mantras of peace. You can also practice meditation doing physical movement. Qigong mm -hmm. is a form of, of movement practice that you can practice meditation with. Mm -hmm. There's also Tai Chi. Tai Chi, sure. Good. The, and then yoga. yoga. Yes, so absolutely. the three most well-known movement meditation forms are the Qigong, Tai Chi, let and me yoga. Ask, let me ask you a question. Yeah. The, um, uh, this all makes so much sense, right? A lot of times we don't think, we don't need to spend the time to think about meditating, which is a problem to start with. Yeah. You know, if it were actually something that we practice as part of our regular regimen, we'd all be a lot healthier. Absolutely. Um, but uh, a little touchy-feely, you know, a few of us are sort of skeptics about, I like to write songs. I find that if I sit down at the piano, yeah. if I start making music or something like that, that that, for me, would that be considered a form of meditation? I love that one. And I'll yeah. tell you why I do. And yes, it would be, because you are connecting who, where you are, you're experiencing mm -hmm. something that is providing you absolute, fully, full presence of, of what you're doing. Yes. You're fully engaged, right? Mm -hmm. That's a good word for yes, it. Sure. When you're sitting at the, at the piano and you're writing down your music, mm -hmm. you are fully present with that. And that, for you, Jesse, is a way for you to alter your mind state yes, and right. start to bring down those levels of stress. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, that's a... Absolutely. Why not? So I think the takeaway here really is that there are a number of ways to meditate, but the concept of meditation, which I don't know about you, but I don't think of every day, is something that you should try to incorporate as part of your thinking yeah. in terms of being healthy, right? Necessary. In fact, yes, we, necessary. We're, finding, okay. we're finding that early morning mm -hmm. for about five to ten minutes is ideal. Wow. Oh, you, know, you bring an important point. I didn't think about how much time you need to spend. Yeah, five to ten that's minutes. That's right, five to ten minutes. Start the day with it. Yeah, boy, that, that's great. Uh, just a quick question. Um, what is the most stressful situation where people are not present? Oh, man. I, I, I know it's a loaded question. I'm going gonna, gonna to say it and everyone's going to be like, I knew that. Yeah. Traffic jam. Traffic when you're jam. caught in a oh traffic jam, you are the least present you could be. Okay, well, I can tell Think about you. that next time you're <laughs> yeah. in a traffic jam. Yeah, that's right. You're not thinking about where you are. You're thinking that you're late. You're wondering why the guy in the other lane is getting further ahead than you are. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Try a toll booth sometimes when it's backed up around holiday There you time, go. Right? Yep. That's, that's stress. Well, speaking of which, we got the holidays coming up. Now, I want to wish you and your family a happy holiday. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you so much for the contribution you make to Look Today. My it, pleasure. It's amazing. People just love this, this segment. So. Oh, that, that's great. I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. No, I want to thank you. This has been a great opportunity, and I, I love sharing this information. That's terrific, Paul. All right, so to see this interview again, head to our website, looktvonline.com.